Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I TA a comparative anatomy lab. So today I'm going to show you the shark circulatory system. Now this video is going to show you a series of photos from a dissection and I've labeled all the arteries very nicely. And so we're going to go look at all the arteries of the circulatory system and we're also going to go into what they're supplying. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we're going to begin with the flow of blood through the shark heart. Sharks have a two-chambered heart, so they have one atrium and one ventricle. The cardinal veins and the hepatic vein carry deoxygenated blood to the sinus venosus, which is the opaque bag that's sitting posterior to the atrium. That blood then is collected in the atrium. Blood is then sent from the atrium to the ventricle, and then that blood is pumped from the ventricle through the conus arteriosus into the ventral aorta. And the ventral aorta is that opaque section that's anterior to the conus arteriosus. Branching directly off the ventral aorta are what are known as afferent bronchial arteries. So think of the word afferent as going towards the gills. So these afferent bronchial arteries are taking the deoxygenated blood to the gills to become oxygenated. Now our blood is leaving the gills, it's oxygenated, so we're moving into systemic circulation. There are several branches that are directly off the gill arches, one of which is the hyoidean artery, which continues to become the internal carotid. The internal carotid carries oxygenated blood to the brain. The external carotid, which is not shown, also branches off the gill arches and takes blood to the lower jaw. Another branch is the commissural artery, which becomes the coronary artery once it reaches the surface of the heart. And we all know that the coronary supplies the heart with oxygenated blood. The next branches off the gill arch is the efferent bronchial arteries. So think of efferent as going away from the gills. The efferent bronchial arteries are carrying oxygenated blood away from the gills, converging to form the dorsal aorta. Now the first small branch off the dorsal aorta is the subclavian artery, and the subclavian artery supplies the pectoral fin in the case of the shark, and it also supplies the lateral body wall with oxygenated blood. So now we're going to move on down the dorsal aorta, where the first major branch is the celiac artery. The celiac artery is considered a major branch because it trifurcates into the gastric, hepatic, and pancreatico-mesenteric arteries. Let's begin with the gastric artery. The word gastric means of or associated with the stomach, so the gastric artery is supplying oxygenated blood to the stomach. The hepatic artery is supplying oxygenated blood to the liver, and the word hepatic means of or associated with the liver. The pancreatic mesenteric artery is supplying oxygenated blood to the pancreas and the shark's spiral valve intestine. So a general rule of thumb is if mesenteric is in the name, odds are it's supplying the intestine with oxygenated blood. However, there are exceptions that isn't always the case. It's just sort of a when in doubt scenario. The second major branch off the dorsal aorta is the anterior mesenteric artery. The anterior mesenteric artery, as the rule of thumb states, is supplying the spiral valve intestine with oxygenated blood. The third major branch off the dorsal aorta is the gastrosplenic artery and the gastrosplenic artery is supplying oxygenated blood to both the stomach and the spleen. The last major branch off the dorsal aorta is the posterior mesenteric artery, and this is one of the exceptions to the rule because the posterior mesenteric artery is supplying oxygenated blood to the rectal or salt gland. The final branch, but it's a small branch, it's not considered a major, is the iliac artery, and the iliac arteries are caudal to the rectal gland. They are supplying the pelvic fin with oxygenated blood. So that is it for the shark circulatory system. I really hope this is helpful to you, and if you wanna test your arterial knowledge, go ahead and watch my video, whose link should be showing up on this video right now. Thank you.